Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you guys with a sort of a declutter um, video. Henry is, I guess you could say he's helping me. <laughs> he's helping me empty the little container. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go through this box. Uh, my husband put up one of the shelves that uh, I had, well, that I had purchased uh, to put more of my stuff up higher because as you can see Henry is getting into all of it so he has gotten into this little this thing was organized and he has gotten into it so many times that now we just toss it all back in there in no particular form or fashion so I'm gonna go ahead and go to this box um, I don't remember where I got this box from. I want to say I got it from Michael's a long time ago, like before my daughter was even born. Um, no, you know what? We got these at Costco. It was a set of two, and I think it was like 15 bucks or something. But um, yes, I've had it a long time. Basically, I try to keep my lotions, like these types of lotions in here, um, like my Dollar Tree ones, uh, basically non- Bath and Body Works, non Victoria's Secret, but somehow these have ended up in there as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these April bath and shower, these types. When I first purchased these, um, maybe about a year or two ago, they were, they were nice. They were okay. They weren't like the best lotion, but it was something that, um, you know, I could just have in the car or just throw on you know if I wasn't going anywhere that day I could just use it to you know if I needed lotion throughout the day or whatever and they smelled really nice too um, these are mostly empty so I did manage to finish a lot of them um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of them just because like I said, the quality of them, it, they're like really, really runny, really, really watery. I did enjoy them while they lasted. This was the Musk and Freesia scented. These are really nice smelling lotions. They are runny, they are watery. Um, and they, I have seen them in my Dollar Trees. Uh, they have made a comeback. So if you do run across these, I mean, like I said, they're they're okay to have in your car, maybe, maybe even on your desk, I don't know. Um, something to put on at night time to have on your little nightstand I don't know I really liked them when they first came out so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those um, this one was uh, blueberry and lilac yeah blackberry and lilac and this one's like got maybe like one more use in it and then this one is this was one, one of my favorites or actually this was my favorite out of all three of them this is the pear and blossom scented this one doesn't have very much either. Let's see. Yeah, this is my favorite out of all three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of them. Um, the next thing I have are these Olay lotions. Now these I've had maybe about a year. I managed to purchase the whole collection. It's the um, Luscious Embrace. The Soothing Cucumber. So it's the purple one, the green one. This is my favorite one. I managed to find it at Big Lots. This is purely pristine and this one is almost empty. I am going to keep these. They're only about a year old so I am going to keep these. Let's see if I can find the other one. I want to see. purple one. My mom actually bought that one for me. And that one's actually newer and it's still full so I am going to keep that one. There's one more of these. I want to say it's pink. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is. It's pink. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think it's a pink one. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, Olay ones. Um, the next thing I have is this Calgon Nourishing Body Cream. This is in the Morning Glory. This is an oldie but goodie. This is old school. I used to wear this in high school. This is still full. I just bought it from, I think it was CVS. Um, 
they were having a sale so I went ahead and bought it so I obviously I'm going to keep that one here's the spray that goes with it this is almost gone so I'm going to go ahead and use that up uh, this is the other Calgon spray that I like and this is the turquoise seas um, almost done with that so I'm going to go ahead and keep that um, these I'm trying I'm really trying to finish these I can tell are getting a little bit old as far as the quality. This is Love Spell and Victoria's Secret. Everybody knows what this is. I've had this for about, I don't know if it's been a year or less. It's probably been about a year and a half actually. They're almost gone. So I'm making it a point to finish both of those and the sprays this year because they have got to go. I don't think they can last any longer. Um, these Dollar Tree lotions, I've been uh, talking about these in my uh, latest Dollar Tree hauls. I just don't buy these anymore. They are garbage. They don't do anything for my skin. They don't last long. They don't moisturize. They don't do anything. So I am going to get rid of those. This is a Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. I use this a lot over the summer. I do have a few uses left, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to incorporate that somehow and use it up. This White Rain Shea Butter. You know, I bought this when I was pregnant, and it's a very light scent, and it was... I like the scent, and that's mainly what I needed. I needed something that I could stand the smell of and something that at least moisturized for just even if it was just for a little while and that's exactly what this did so i'm going to go ahead and finish this up is it my favorite no especially now that i haven't been pregnant for a very long time and i can you know withstand the smell of the rest of my bath and body works and what have you but i am going to go ahead and finish it because it wasn't it, you know to me it wasn't a bad product i've heard a lot of people didn't like it but i liked it so uh, this is the April Bath and Shower Simply Sprinkles Freesia and Red Plum. Again, these don't do anything for me. They are very watery. Although, this one is fairly new. So, I don't know if I just want to use it up. Let's see. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep this one. This one's fairly new, and I just feel terrible throwing it away. I think I'm going to try to use it up. And it is a new formula, so maybe this one's a little bit better. Um, so I'll go ahead and keep that. These sprays actually bought this year. This is the Mango Hibiscus. And then I have this one I bought last year. This is Sheer Attraction. Um... This one I bought this year as well. This is Vanilla Wishes. I thought I had the mango one in here, but I think my daughter has it. So this Vanilla Wishes I really like, so I'm going to keep that. These two, I don't know. I may just give them to my daughter, but even then, like, they don't last long. They don't, like, you, it's like water almost. They don't last long at all. I don't know. This is in a maybe pile. I'm going to put those in a maybe pile because I just have no idea what I'm going to do with those. This I'm definitely getting rid of. I bought this to go in my pregnancy bag or my, my pregnancy bag, my labor delivery bag. It says daily moisturizing, but it is the runniest stuff I have ever. I have ever. I mean, you would compare it to a Dollar Tree lotion. That is how runny it is. Even though it is gold bond, I think I paid maybe four or five dollars for this and it was on sale. It it was horrible. It was horrible. So I am definitely getting rid of that. Um I keep this. I use this in the summertime just to moisturize when I shave, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Dollar Tree Perfect Purity Vitamin E Moisturizing Skin Lotion. It's a thick, rich formula. I do like the way this smells, but it is a little old, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, these two I bought last summer. These are by Avon. This one and this one. This is the Luscious Bliss Hand Souffle by Skin So Soft. This was okay. I don't... 
I mean, the smell was okay. I just felt like it left my hands very greasy. Like it was hard to settle into my skin. And then this one was a total opposite. This one was very runny. Um, they both smell really, really nice. I think I'm going to try to finish them since they're, I mean, they're fairly full. So I think I'm going to try to finish them just to say that I tried. Um, I really enjoyed this. This is the coconut body cream from Dollar Tree. As you can see, I got my use out of this. It maybe has a couple of more uses, so obviously I'm going to finish that. Um, these are body sprays, and I am going to keep these. This is a dupe for Victoria's Secret Bombshell. And then this is a dupe for Victoria's Secret Heavenly. And I do use these from time to time, so I'm going to keep those. This is the uh, Mint Foot Lotion. I'm going to go ahead and just toss this. It does nothing. Zero for my feet. And Mr. Henry is back. And he's going to start putting things back in the box for me. As you guys can see, I've got a lip gloss in here, a curler in here. I'm going to take those out. Um, I have this Sea Breeze Naturals Facial Lotion. I do like this. This is a backup. So I'm going to go ahead and use that up. This I bought over the summer. This is the Power Stick um, for her. It's a deodorant body spray. I do enjoy this from time to time, so I am going to keep that. And then this is just a Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I actually bought this to use as a primer for uh, over the summer. It was supposedly a good matte a mattifying primer but I don't know I don't think I used it enough for me to test it out I started using it and then it started breaking me out so I don't know if it was because it was a new product that I was using or it's just it plain broke me out so I think I'm gonna give it another whirl although I don't think I'll need it because winter's coming fall's coming and the air is gonna be falls here actually but we still haven't had any like real fall weather so I don't think I'll be needing it so maybe I'll save it if it doesn't expire I'll save it for you know when the spring and summer come back again if not I'll see if my husband wants it or something I don't know so that is my declutter video for that I am going to be making more declutter videos for my makeup products I do have a lot of um, eyeshadows that I collected over you know the past couple of years from Dollar Tree that I definitely need to declutter. I don't really wear eyeshadow that much, so I don't know why I ever bought them. <laughs> so I am going to have to declutter some of that. So that was my declutter video. Um, don't know if you guys are into those kind of things. I just thought I'd record it just because. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.